Hello, it's Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a mid-month reading for Pisces, a mid-month love reading for Pisces. This um, is for Pisces moon, a uh, sun, and rising sign. This is a mid-month love reading for Pisces. This is a general reading. It will not hit everyone. Take what you can from it and use it. And please listen to other readers. Perhaps they have another story for you. Um, if you could, please take the time to subscribe to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated. If you subscribe, I promise you won't be disappointed. I will always give you intuitive, enlightening readings through my cards. Um, and from my heart space as well. I thank you so much once again for coming to my channel. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Pisces mid-month February love reading. Thank you, Spirit Guys. Thank you for giving me a message for Pisces. Thank you for giving me a message for Pisces. Thank you, Ancestors. Thank you for the message you're going to give me. Let's see. My wonderful Pisces, what's going on? My wonderful Pisces. You have six of pentacles. You have four of wands. You have seven of wands. You have the lovers. And then you have eight of wands. Whoa, Pisces, look at this. Okay, Pisces, let's let's talk about this. So, you um, have found balance with someone. Six of Pentacles right out the box means that you have found balance with someone. You have the four of wands right next to the six of Pentacles. And this person has brought you um, balance and you're looking at them as an, a marriage, an agreement, an arrangement. You see the uh, four of the, the four of um, wands here is, is the eleven eleven sign, which means that um, could be a soulmate, a twin flame. It is someone that has come into your life and brought you a lot of balance, a lot of balance, a lot. Maybe you were kind of out of control, but this person has come into your life and shown you the way. You guys have put your heads together. And now you're on a certain path, a great path too, uh, a, a path leading toward engagement, marriage. Um, like I said, this could be a soulmate. This is a union card. This is um, this is um, a together card. Then you have the seven of, of wands. Now, seven of wands means uh, defending yourself. Um, I don't know. You might have had to um, tell them and show them that you are for real, that you do want to be with them. Um, maybe they were questioning you, um, but you have had to come in. You've also, in order to get here, you've had to defend it, defend this situation. Why? Um, maybe they're asking you, why do you want to be with me? Why do you love me? Of uh, those type questions in this type of situation, you are defending your um, feelings for them. Then you have the lovers, and lovers means love, harmony, peace, all good, all is well. Um, but it's also a decision card, and I think that's very important here because the lovers is also a decision card. This is all could also be a Gemini person as well. But um, it is a decision card. It is a card that's saying you have made the choice to be with this person. And you need them to know that you have made that choice to be with this person. This, this the, um, Then you also have the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is swift communication. You are letting them know and you're letting them know on a continual basis. Hey, babe, I love you. I want to be with you. You are the one. And you need that to get through to them. So let's see. Let's see. You want to show them how much they have brought balance to your life and love in your life and what you feel in your heart for them. So let's see. Why is this Six of Pentacles? Give me another five minutes so I can just kind of clarify for you. Why is this Six of Pentacles here for Pisces? Show me why the Six of Pentacles is here. Oh, you have the Six of Swords. You are... I, you, have, you have Six of Pentacles here. The Six of Pentacles here, which means balance. And then you have the Six of Swords, which means that you are moving from turbulence or you have moved from turbulence into um, calmness, into calm waters, into a calm situation. I told you, you are you are in agreement with this situation. This is a, a marriage type or engagement type situation. Perhaps you want to ask them for their hand in marriage. But let's see here. Let's Show me. Why is this Four of Wands here? Show me why this Four of Wands is here. Ah, you have the Prince of Cups, Princess of Cups. Um, you are actually giving them and offering them your love. I told you, you are defending it over here, but you are this four of wands means that I mean this person is coming and kind of rocked your world a little bit because you are you are pretty much 
offering your love to them. You have offered Pisces. You have come in and you're saying, hey, you're showing them, you're being romantical with them, which that's a word, but you're having romance with them. You're saying, here, what can I do for you? We have great opportunity. Um, so let's see why the Seven of Wands here. Why do you have to defend yourself? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Show me, Spirit, guys. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow, Pisces. You have the Two of Cups. You have the Two of Cups. This is the beginning of something that's great. All of this is saying that this is going to turn out to be something awesome. Because the Two of Cups is harmony, balance, union. I told you this is... When you look at these cards here, two, Four of Wands, Two of Cups, Lovers... But you have to um, you have to show them um, through your actions and continue to show your through your actions and sh continue to tell them and let them know and and let them know that you that they you love them and you and you love them greatly. So let's see why the lovers card is here for you, Pisces. Why is the lovers card here for you, Pisces? Show me why the lovers card is here for you, Pisces. You got the devil. This could be a Capricorn person too, but Pisces. The devil is a great card to me. I love the devil card. The devil card to me means that you are in love. And I always say because a devil means addiction. It can mean lust. But um, you are definitely in union with this person. You guys have it, have it going on. But more importantly, the devil card shows that you are in love. And I say to be in love with someone, you have to have somewhat of an addictive behavior. Um, that is good because that's the only way that you can truly love someone um, and go through um, the ups and the downs and everything and be able to stay in there. And I think that's a great card to get because you are addicted to this person. Um, you um, are you guys are very when you get together, it's own. It's no problems in that area. And um, I think it's a great, great read for you. It's a great read for you. Let's see, Pisces. Why is this Eight of Wands here? Show me why this Eight of Wands is here for you, Pisces. Well, you did have a good time and you have had a good time. What happened, Pisces? All was well. All is good. Now you're back to square one. You've got to have conversations. Something happened that, that they, they broke your heart. Oh, Pisces. They broke your heart, Pisces. Um, you felt this way, but I don't think they received it this way. I think you had all of these things. You had the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is, is communication. And um, then you had the Three of Swords. Which means that the communication that you were giving them, they did not accept it. They did not accept it or, or um, they said maybe not yet. I don't know. They keep making you have to defend it. But in your heart of hearts, you have a broken heart right now. You have heartache right now because of the communication that you've had with them. I think you kept, you were defending it. This was going on. You had the lust. You had everything. You had the, um, the um, choice to be theirs. But they didn't accept that. They didn't accept it, um, Pisces, and I'm sorry. But that's what I see for you, Pisces. That's what I see. 